Okay, so the first thing I do Place it right along here, and you stay on top of the fins. And when you get a little past the ribs, try to go through to the other side and go right along the bone. Okay, and then over here. Cut it up and uh, try doing that on the other side. Along the bone. As soon as I get past the ribs, I try to go through to the other side and come all the way to the tail, cut it over there, okay so we got the scales are on there, so I'm gonna try to get in here and go along the ribs. See the flies coming, and right about there, I'm gonna cut it. And same thing over here. a big piece of meat over here so we can just we can just grab that piece of meat uh, got a little piece over there so he's done rinse it off a little You feel right here in the middle, there's some bones. So you could either go right in the middle like that and just cut away from those few bones over there. This way you won't have to take them out. Right there. Sango, yeah. Okay, so that's, you can see, there's a little bit of guts on there, so you want to get that off. Okay, so that's ready. Now there's, like I said, there's some bones right here in the middle, some rib bones, so over here there's no bones, so we're going to cut along there. There you have the skin and the scales, and uh, my knife is sliding. Stay there, baby. And uh, if you feel through it, there's no bones. Okay, so this is a nice piece of meat right here. You could bread it, dip it. So 
There's another piece. Now here's the other side. And I, what I do is I can feel right in the center here is bones. See? I'll, I'll pull one out to show you. See? There's a bone right in the center. You can feel them with your fingers. So what I do is I see that lateral line? I cut right along there and down. And then I go right alongside the skin. And there you have it. You got it. Nice, nice fillet. No bones. You can feel when you go like this. You can feel the bones. So there's no bones. And then on the other side, there's some bones right here in the middle. So I'm just gonna go like that. There's no bones down there. Just where the ribs are. And uh, there's another. Nice piece of meat there, no bones. And uh, throw that in there. And uh, hopefully the, the flies are going in the bucket and they're leaving me alone right now. So this is what a, one porgy will get you. One, two, some four fillets. Four fillets. Okay, so. If you weren't paying attention. We got another nice, nice big one. So. Now pay attention. Okay, so you stick the knife in. I hate doing this, and uh, we caught like 25 yesterday, and they were all well, 10 to 15 inches, so you can see this one's pretty big, it's like, this is 10, this one's like 14 inches easy, 15 inches, okay, so right on top of the skull, I go in there. I go about halfway down in the knife. I can feel the ribs. Once I get past the ribs, I go right through. Stay on top. Stay on top of the bones. There. And then I make a cut over here. Now to keep it easy, I do it on the other side too because I don't want to, it's harder to do when they're not fat. Okay, so over here. Go in there. As soon as I get past the ribs, stay right on there. There it is. Okay, so now make the cut. Even if you get the ribs, you, you can just cut, a, cut them away. The whole idea is not to really go through the guts. Okay, so now we got that one. Slice it down. These the ribs. Okay, this one. I'm just going to... That's the rib meat anyway. I don't mess with that. Okay, so we got. And if, if you miss, if you didn't cut a little too far away from the bone, you could always just go in there, like I, right here. And uh, 
You could always get that piece of meat you, you missed. And throw that back in there. This one I did pretty good. So, like I said, you feel the bones right there. So right here, you're gonna make the cut. There's one fillet. And uh, these flies are attacking my fillets here, so I'm gonna cover them up. They don't need to be on my fillets. <clears throat> and <clears throat> Here's the bones right in the middle. So cut away from them. There's no bones down here. So this you can this is like a sushi style fish right here. Once you get the bones out, you can see what a nice meat this is. There's all the scales, the skin. And uh, there it is, look. You feel no bones. Right here. There's the skin. And you can feel around, there's no bones. You feel them. So we got, that's two fish already. So, I got two more fish, so this is another nice big one. Very good. <laughs> this is for you people who don't know how to clean these things. This is how I do it. And uh, I usually only keep a couple of big ones. I give the rest to my friend. He gives them to his friends at work. But I keep like three or four, maybe two sometimes. Laura's like, don't bring too many. I was like, okay. But this time I got four. So I stick the knife right there. And I go about halfway down. These flies are on me. Once I get past the ribs, I go all the way through along the bone here. And you can make a cut right there. Same thing here. You go in. Now I'm getting swarmed by flies. I gotta hurry up, people. They told their friends, Stay where Steve's cleaning fish. Come on. These guys are worse than seagulls, believe me. So we make the cut. Okay, so we got both sides ready. We just gotta take them off the ribs now. So I just make a tender little cut here. I don't even keep the ribs. If you want to, so we got enough meat here. I don't even keep the ribs. I ain't missing with no bones. And then uh, over here, bring it down. Okay. See all the meat's off. Uh, a little bit of blood here, you don't want that. Okay, so right in the middle here there's bones. So I'm gonna go below the bones on the bottom. There's one fillet. The bones are right in the middle here. This is the best part, the top. And the bones stop right there. So we can get all of that. Bring it through. There we go. 
Look at that nice fillet, no bones. Same procedure here. See the bones? Look. You can feel them. See? So we're gonna feel that bones and go right above them. Cut through. And uh, you people won't be spitting out bones this way. They're gonna say, there's bones. No bones, baby. Okay, so you can feel it, no bones. There it is. And we're gonna do the same thing on the bottom. There it is. Nice little fillet. Throw that in a bucket. So we got four pieces of meat. So thank God this is the last fish. Nice, nice 13 inch, 14 inch porgy. So what we're gonna do is, like I showed you, just learn people. Right there, stick the point in the knife. Cut along the top of the ribs. This is my own technique. Then once I get past the ribs, I go through, go down. There it is. Make a cut right there. Okay, let's try and do this one fast without cutting my hand. Go inside, make that cut inside in. Go along the top you, without going into the guts of the ribs. Just go along the top. You can feel the ribs with the knife. Okay, once you get past the, the ribs, go through. I went, I might have went a little too early there, but we just cut that part off, okay? So now we got two pieces. You can actually just peel it off. Peel that off. Peel it right off the ribs. Okay, we did go a little deep, so we're gonna we're gonna cut that off. Need a sharp knife for this, people. And uh, gotta clean this a little. You don't want that spoiling the meat. Okay. Okay, it's clean. Now watch. See the, these are, right here, I went a little too soon. Look, you got, see so you got the, the rib bones. You don't want those. So you go halfway down, go over here. Okay, right there. I, there's ribs right here, see? See? You don't want that in your food, so I just avoid that completely. Then I go on top of that lateral line bone. There's nothing on the top after you get past there. Cut along there. There's no bones now, so you can get the whole thing. There it is, you got the skin, the scales, and Two nice pieces of meat, and you could go like that with your finger and you feel no bones. Okay? Now, do it on the other side. No bones. This side here. There's the skin. No bones. Oh, where I feel a bone. Okay, so if I went a little above that lateral line and there's a bone there, so I just take that off. There. Now there's no bones. Okay, so this is what we got. 
four porgies. Uh, Uh, this is enough for three or four people. All bone free. Nice meat. Look at that. So I'm going to rinse it off. Put it in a bag. And I got ice in this cooler. But I don't think I'm going to use it. It has a little blood in it. Okay, so we're going to go inside and get this cold right away. You don't want to warm up <clears throat> so, wash out the cooler and uh, this I'm gonna bury in the yard for my compost I think I'm gonna put it next to my fig trees and the fish we're gonna put in the uh, refrigerator right away, so that's how I do it. Let me see who's on here. Oh, excuse me. Hey guys, taking pictures of what you cook. Please post them. Okay. Well, I don't think I'm going to put breadcrumbs. I think I'm just going to... Uh, a little butter and garlic and, and fry them. So, uh, before I end the stream, yeah, let me let me switch this around to show you guys. Even my tomatoes are ready. These are my tomatoes here. Uh, and look at this. Some, the squirrels are already eating my tomatoes. Son of them guns. And I got a lot of apples. So anybody want an apple? So... Thanks for coming by, guys. And I, I could post some of me eating it if you really want. But <clears throat> I got zucchini over there. I'm going to pick some of that later. And there's my tomatoes. I got peppers, apples. So thanks for stopping by. God bless you. I can't see nothing. <laughs> zucchini. You want some zucchini? I got some. <laughs> I'll pick it next time. Take care, guys.